Houses.com. Go to our webpage. We buy houses nationwide. We've been featured on all the major media channels, outlets throughout the country. Cash Band buys houses.com. We'll make you an offer today. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Do you feel that your energy costs are unnaturally high? Do you want to fortify your building and keep it strong and secure for years to come? Then NRG Spray Foam Insulation is the answer you're looking for. Our unique foam insulation is made to help our customers save in energy, prevent gas, air, and moisture infiltration, as well as helping with general stability in your building structure. Call us at 713-936-3021 or visit us online at nrgfoam.com for more information. NRG Spray Foam. Building green, living green. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. Film. The program presented are submitted by members of our community and are a proud sponsor of KNY 91.1 FM. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect those of KNY 91.1 FM and its affiliates. Hey, happy Monday to you. My name is Sidney Young, your host of the Woodlands Prime Lending Show. Welcome to the WPL. Hey, guess what we're going to talk about today? We're going to talk about motivating your success in real estate. Yeah, you know who you are. You wake up every day grumpy and you say, today I'm going to be good in real estate. But you're grumpy about it. So we're going to talk about ways to get motivated for your success in real estate. Okay, so let's talk real quickly about some sponsors. Let's pay a few bills, and let's move on down the road here with some motivation. Let's talk about Woodlands Prime Lending. WoodlandsPrimeLending.com. Go to the webpage. You all know the drill, man. If you're looking for a commercial loan, fill out the little form. That little form, believe it or not, it doesn't ask for any personal information, just your contact info. goes to one of our loan officers. They call you back. They're going to check it out, man. What, what kind of deal is it? You know what? They have programs. If you have enough equity in that deal, you're looking at very little out-of-pocket money. You know, you, you got to pay for the appraisal, but you're looking at very little out-of-pocket money. So go to WoodlandsProblem.com, plug in that little information thing, send it off. you got nothing to lose, everything to gain. So WoodlandsProblem.com. Okay, motivation. Man, you wake up every day. You get out of bed. Some some of you like have to be at work by nine. Some got to be at work by seven. Whatever it is, you know. And you wake up at six to be at work by seven. You finally bail out of bed about six thirty, and then you roll in at six fifty nine, seven oh one, seven oh two. Some of you seven oh five and seven tenners. You know what I'm saying? You walk in. Ah, I don't want to be here today, but and it's Monday. You're tired and everything else because you had a great weekend. And you know, you say, "Well, I want to get this real estate thing going, but you know, I got to do this job here to get that money on Friday so I can pay my bills." And I understand that you got to have some cash flow to live before you jump into being a regular full-time real estate guy, submitting deals to Wizards Prime Lending on a regular basis, and doing doing your stuff back and forth. So, how you do it? I'll tell you how you do it, man. Okay, if you're a 7 a.m. at work. Get up at 5. As much as you don't want to, challenge yourself, man. Do something you don't want to do. Wake up at 5. What for? Get your coffee. Get your juice. Get, have your breakfast. Do what you need to do. And by 5.30, be in front of that computer. Watch Grant Cardone. Watch Tony Robbins. These are the two to three minute videos that they do. Let me tell you something. Grant Cardone is the most motivational speaker guy. See, because I know what Grant does. He ain't just saying it. Grant Cardone's huge in real estate, man. He's, he's got a portfolio of real estate that's in the billions. Not the millions, the billions. He does a ton of business here in the Houston area as well. Okay, so watch his little videos, man. There's, if you got time on your, your time off, he has some that are over an hour long. They go from point A to uh, point Z, A to Z, on how to buy property, how to wholesale property, everything you need to know, man. Know your craft, man. 
So my point is this. You can't spend an hour in the morning doing that. But listen to at least 20 to 30 minutes of motivational videos. Whatever your thing is. Gary Vaynerchuk's a good one. Beware. You know, y'all know to watch Gary. He, he used a lot of curse words. So, you know, <laughs> if kids are around that early in the morning. But uh, Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins is a good motivational speaker. He doesn't talk much real estate, but he's a great motivational speaker. He's, uh, key, he's right on point. Grant Cardone's great. I like him. Uh, put him on YouTube, Grant Cardone uh, videos, and watch one of his videos. you got to get something going positive in your day. Get out there, and you're going to say, how does it affect me? I go to the hospital and work you know, eight at nine hours as a nurse, and you want me to get up positive and think about real estate. No. Get up. Get your mind in prep that when you're done today, you're going to come home, you're going to fix dinner for the kids, you're going to get everything done by 7, 8 o'clock at night. And when you get in bed, you're going to start, or getting ready to go to bed, instead of watching TV, you're going to watch some of these videos on how to wholesale. You're going to watch some of these videos on, on how to submit your deals, and, and, and you're going to learn versus sitting in front of that TV, watching uh What's that, Texas Ranger? I don't even know what's on TV. But anyway, you, you see my point. And, and you know, hey, I'm guilty. I, I get up and watch the news. That's the most negative stuff in the world. I even report the news. That's the most negative stuff in the world. But if you got to watch the news, watch the news. I primarily watch the traffic and stuff. But uh, you got to get motivated, man. you got to be motivated in what you want to do. And then the next step is the action part, man. Challenge yourself. Here's what I'm talking about. You know, you you got to get out there. And, and find the homes. You got to put an offer in front of somebody. You got to have somebody say yes and run with it. If you just break through that wall and get that very first deal in, man, that very first deal, you say, well, how do I do that? I, I don't have time. If you don't have time, what are you doing in the real estate business? Okay, if you're exploring the real estate business, there's a reason for that. If you're exploring the real estate business, it's because you're not happy with your current income. You know there's a retirement out there. You know there's a better way, an easier way to do, and you're trying to achieve more in life. I admire you. i tell you one thing. If you're exploring it, I admire you because you're, you're realizing that doing the same thing over and over is insane. You already know the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over, expecting change. You wake up every day at, at uh, 6, you're out the door at 6.45, you walk the door to your, your work at 7.05, Monday through Friday. You get home, take care of everything, and you watch TV till it's time to go to bed. Hey, if that's your living, that's your living. But that ain't living in my book, okay? It's time for a change. Challenge yourself. Get that real estate deal, okay? And I'm going to talk on ways to get a real estate deal without having to cost you an arm and a leg. And I'm going to talk about ways to market yourself without costing an arm and a leg. And I'm going to talk about ways to do all some of this absolutely F-R-E-E. -E. So, Carlos, look down. It's time for a commercial. We're going to take a short commercial break, and when we come back, I'm going to talk more about this. Don't go away. CashmanBuysHouses.com CashmanBuysHouses.com You're facing pre-foreclosure. Maybe you've had a death in your family. Maybe the taxes are behind. Whatever the need is, if you need to sell your house, you need to sell it quick, CashmanBuysHouses.com Go to our webpage. We buy houses nationwide. We've been featured on all the major media channels, outlets throughout the country. CashmanBuysHouses.com We'll make you an offer today. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. For fresh flowers fast, call Barb's Ars Floral at 281-820-2294 with excellent customer service since 1983 for weddings, funeral services, sweet 15s, corporate events, and all occasions. For that special someone you love, barbsirisfloral.com and barbsirisfloralboutique.com. Come on in and pick out of our prestigious gallery at 727 Westmont Houston Road, Houston, Texas, 77038. Text 832-466-8414. Barb's Floral delivers fresh flowers fast. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. There is a special place in the Woodlands where you can feel comfortable opening your business. We are located at 10210 Grogan's Mill Road. Our building has a unique Vedic architectural design with landscape grounds and lakeside views, on-site management, and maintenance. We also provide free Wi-Fi and the opportunity to promote your business on 91.1 FM The Boss. This wonderful location is near the Woodlands Mall, Market Street, and just minutes from Bush Intercontinental Airport. 10210 Grogan's Mill Road. The 
only social media building in the Woodlands. Don't delay. Schedule a tour today by calling 713-777-7368. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. For any maintenance needs on your commercial or personal vehicle, EVG Lonsdale Service specializes on European, Asian, and domestic vehicles. We can assist you with wheel alignments, tire balance, AC services, computer and electric diagnostic, and more. We're located at the corner of 1230 Aldine Mail Route and Reeston Road in Houston 77039. Our phone number is 936-344-1672. Or you can find us on our webpage www.evgls.com. EVG Lonsdale. If it's got wheels we can fix it this was a proud sponsor of knly 91.1 fm we are broadcasting live from the woodlands texas to the world you're listening to the only multimedia fm station in houston texas your fusion radio top 40s dance latin country pop rock and roll all in one station. Mixing genres and generations. You're listening to KNLY New Waverly, Texas. 91.1 FM, The Boss. Welcome back to WPL, what is Prime Lindley Show. My name is Sidney Young. I am your host with the most. Okay, before we don't break, I was talking about motivating yourself. I was talking about... You know, doing, making that change, man. The definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting change. All right? Now we're going to talk about how to make that change. All right? Challenge yourself, man. Get out of your comfort zone. Do something that you wouldn't normally do and you say, you know what? I know, I, I work eight, nine hours a day, drive home in traffic, everything else. By the time I get home, you know, I got to take care of kids, everything else. It's seven, going on eight o'clock at night. All I want to do is get off my feet. It's great. Get off your feet, get your laptop, and learn. And then tell you what, you take the first weekend, the first Saturday you're off, and you wake up early again. Yep, you don't sleep in. You wake up early again, and you get out there, okay? And you get that listing of, of pre-foreclosures that you can get, okay? Look it up. There's, you have to pay for the list, but that's okay. It's addresses of people who are getting ready to lose their home. Who else would be motivated to sell a home than someone getting ready to lose their home? Because if you don't work a deal with them, they not only lose their home, man, they, they go into 10 years of bad credit, they go through get evicted, all their belongings get thrown in storage. They go through a tremendous tragedy if, some, if they don't do something about this, this foreclosure. Pre-foreclosures, man, they're huge. Get, you know, okay, you, you've seen the, uh, the uh, door hangers. Office Depot will make you 100 door hangers, very cheap. I'm not advertising Office Depot. Go wherever you want. But get them done real cheap. To get your phone number on there. Come up with a catchy name. Okay, example. Okay, I do real estate investing. Guess what my company name is? Cashmanbuyshouses.com. Cashmanbuyshouses.com. It's not that catchy. Cashman. I love that. You come up with your fancy name. Go to GoDaddy, not advertise GoDaddy, just tell you how I do it. Go to GoDaddy. You know, that thing was 15 bucks, something like that. I think it was less than that. It was like 12 bucks. And I got a domain, and, and it took like, I don't know, an hour to create the page. You follow the step by step thing, and I got a web page. Okay, now you got a web page, you got a catchy name. My advice for branding make your company name your web page, man. That's the way, cashmanbuyshouses.com. That's the name of the company. I mean, how simpler could that be for branding? Okay, they said, well, I could do that, but no one knows it's out there. Man, quit coming up with excuses. Excuses are just like a you-know-what. Everyone's got one, and no one likes the way they smell. Okay, now here's how you're going to do this. Once you come up with a catchy name, make it catchy, man. That's, you know, we buy houses. I don't think that one's available. Someone use that. Come up with something like, you know, uh, skinnymanbuyshouses.com, something, you know, maybe big man, like me, bigmanbuyshouses.com, something. Okay, then go to Facebook. Put an ad out. And if you're one of these people on Facebook who just has like, you know, 100 followers, 100, uh, they call them friends. They're business connections, okay? Some are friends, some are business connections. You better start meeting some people on Facebook, man. That is a huge marketing tool, huge. Get 5,000 plus people on Facebook. Post your link 
to your web page on Facebook. Guess how much that cost you? Zero. And then have people share it. Send it to the people that got the 5,000 plus. Have them share it to their people. Now your marketing is going out there. People are calling you. Okay. Also, Craigslist. Nah. Eh, you know, Craigslist is this and is that. There's places on Craigslist under real estate where you can post your link 100% FREE, -E, free. Okay? And you can do this on a daily basis. Post, and you can, now here's the thing Craigslist has got an algorithm to them that's unique. Don't post more than three ads a day. You'll be ghosted. You won't even know you're ghosted and you're ghosted. Ghosted means you think your ads are being shown, but it's not. Only three ads a day. Every day do it. Then every two days, renew it. So you go through this process where you're putting out three a day, and the ones you have from two days ago are time to renew. They pop back up front. And now, guess how much that costs you? Zero free. Okay, so now you spent some money getting the door hangers, okay? You got a pre-foreclosure list. I think that's 50 bucks or a pre-foreclosure list. You got to take a gas. I don't know. As long as you ain't got a big old 18-wheeler diesel, 20 bucks for uh, fill up a tank, maybe 30. Go out there, every address, and here's what's going to help you out. There are free apps where you can put in every, to every address. Every, you just put in the addresses, and you put where your home address is, and it will route you from the nearest one to the furthest one. So therefore, or you can go from the furthest one, work your way back. Therefore, it will take you from house to house to house. You take your door hanger, and you go up there and knock on the door. If someone answers, hand them the door hanger. Hey, I'm, I'm just interested to see if you guys are interested in selling your home. Let me give you my information. Start a rapport with them. If no one answers the door, leave it on the door. Don't put it on the mailbox. I think that's illegal. I don't even know if it is or not. Put it on the door. That's your door hanger. You're in business, man. This is a Saturday. So you're going to spend eight, nine hours on a Saturday taking care of this. Guess what's going to happen, though? Your phone's going to ring. You're a serious guy. You're buying houses. Now, you want a JV, joint venture with someone, you don't want to use your own money to actually do the purchase? You want to wholesale? You want to flip paper? Man, get a hold of somebody. Gabriel Darte, that's my mentor, man. Gabe's helped me out, okay? You find your own mentor. Hey, I'll help you out. Get a hold of me. I'll show you how to do it. And get that first one underneath your belt. Once you got that first one underneath your belt, you're going to feel good. You go back to work on Monday, you may even show up a little bit later than you normally do and get an attitude. Uh-huh, fire me. I dare you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel better about you because you're making some money, and you did it. You learned it, okay? I mean, come on, man. Who, who couldn't use a few thousand dollars extra a month? Wholesale one deal will make you three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 or more. You know, I mean, that's going to come in handy, man. You know, and then once you start regularly wholesaling and you get a little nest egg saved up, quit wholesaling. It's time to buy and hold. Buy them, hold them, rent them out. You have a piece of property. Take on uh, owner. Man, you get so creative. Owner finance notes. I did one on a lease house. There was a lease house. Had a lease house, and uh, basically uh, it, it stayed. Now in the greater Houston area, lease houses today are going left and right. I mean, they're not staying that long unless they're grossly overpriced, which they're not. But back in the day, it was tough, man, because after foreclosures, everything was being leased. I mean, when the foreclosure thing hit, there were lease rent, please rent my home type things. And, man, I'm, I was making deals, man. I was going out there, hey, man, you know, you, your house been up for rent for how long now? Yeah, man, it's cost you money every month. Let's work a deal. And work an owner finance deal. If you can work an owner finance deal, brother, that's, that's a gold mine. Because no bank involved, just you and, the, and you come up with a note. Of course, you want to file the, everything with the county so it's, it's all legal. And it protects you. But anyway, do an owner finance deal. Um, there's so many different ways to do these things. Just creativity, man. It's just a matter of you and, and, and what they're willing to do. There's some people, and this is insane, there's some people that are so loaded down with money that they got properties all around the country, and they just, man, just whatever, just do something with it because it's not doing anything for me. And they don't care. You know, you're very fortunate you run into that guy. But most everyone's trying to turn a profit into real estate, same as you would if you try to sell your home. But everyone's situation is different. Find the pain, man. Find the pain. Everyone has some pain if they're doing if they're working with a wholesaler, there's some pain there. They know you're a wholesaler. The word wholesale, not retail. So when you tell them, you know, we, we, we buy houses, 
Uh, but here's the thing, and they always use the word we, not I buy houses. Well, then it's you and you, your truck out there. You know, use the word we. Hey, you have a team. You have a uh, Woodlands Prime Lending. You've got your 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 title company. You've got all these people that help me, realtors. So we're we're buying houses, okay? I'd like to talk to you about buying your house today. Okay, not making you an offer. I'd like to talk to you about buying your house today. But understand, I'm a wholesaler. That means, and I don't even know what your house is worth, but if your house is worth this, I have to buy it at this number so that I can turn around and sell it and make it some money. And I, I'm going to turn around and sell it to where maybe another wholesaler can buy it. I'm not trying to sell it up here. If you've got money to sit and hold, you might. But if you're a new wholesaler, just make you three or $5,000 on the deal. You're flipping paper, man. Have them sign it over to you, and you get on that buyer's list. If you don't have a buyer's list, get a hold of somebody that does. I guarantee you they'll JB with you. They'll joint venture on the deal with you, which means you give up a portion of your profits. But guess what? You also obtain a buyer's list. So your next deals, you have already know who you're going to distribute your deal to. So, man, I, you know, I'm not saying it's easy because it's not. But you, it's, it's what's the word? It's every day you get up and chip away on that real estate wall. If you get to work at your regular job and you get frustrated and inactivity goes by, man, it's not good. Isolation is the death of a salesman because you're a salesman, saleswoman, whatever. Isolation is the death of a salesman. Don't get isolated, man. Get involved in a real estate group with mentors and people you can talk to on a regular basis. Who are you hanging out with? On your time off, you're hanging out with your, your buddies who are out drinking and and talking about their, their their girlfriends or whatever, are you educating yourself? Who are you hanging out with, man? Okay, are, are you hanging out with your girlfriends who want to gossip on the phone all night? Or are you trying to educate yourself and do a deal? You know what I'm saying? Who you hang out with? Hang out with positive people, business people who are making money. I don't care if they're in real estate. I don't care if they're selling uh, PVC pipe. If they're making money, hang out with them, okay, because they're business-minded people. And you need to be around business-minded people. All right, Carlos, give me another single. It looks like we're going to go into another commercial break. When we come back, I'm going to talk to you more about how to end your day in real estate. Be right back. H-Town is the most culturally diverse city in America. H-Town Awards' sole mission is to celebrate the great diversity of our city. Our artists, citizens, and philanthropists and businesses are second to none. H-Town is the best city in the world, and our people are the best people on earth. Join us in celebrating all musical genres and the diversity of our beautiful city. H-Town Awards Show, November 2019. We'll see you there. For more information, follow us on social media at H-Town Awards or send us an email at info at H-TownAwards.com. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Cashbandbuyshouses.com. Cashbandbuyshouses.com. You're facing pre-foreclosure. Maybe you've had a death in your family. Maybe the taxes are behind. Whatever the need is, if you need to sell your house, you need to sell it quick. Cashbandbuyshouses.com. Go to our webpage. We buy houses nationwide. We've been featured on all the major media channels, outlets throughout the country. Cashbandbuyshouses.com. We'll make you an offer today. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. At Team Took Mixed Martial Arts, your family will learn real self-defense and have lots of fun in our unmatched character enrichment program. Give us a call today at 281-955-7300 or visit us on the web at www.teamtook.com. Let us know you heard about our special offer with 91.1 The Boss and take advantage of 10 classes for just $27 and a free uniform. A free uniform. We offer classes for the whole family. 281-955-7300. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Xavier Academy is a full-service, accredited private school offering personalized curriculum and extraordinarily low student-to-teacher ratio. We emphasize academic success, personal growth, and social skills in a rich and stimulating environment. Xavier Academy The Woodlands offers summer school tutoring and credit recovery through the end of July. Our website, www.xavieracademy.org or 713-389-5545. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Do you want to make your college experience different? Become an intern with 91.1 The Boss. We are interviewing interns today. Contact us at 713-370-5051. Watch us live in our social media. Facebook Live, YouTube, Twitch, Periscope. 
at KNLY 91.1 FM. Follow us at KNLY 91.1 FM. Welcome back to WPL Woodlands Prime Lending Show. WoodlandsPrimeLending.com. All right. Well, we got five minutes left, Carl Simmons. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about something. You've been out. It's a Saturday. Pretend it's a Saturday. You've been out all day long, putting knock on doors, putting that thing out there, getting your name out there. Everyone you talk to, you put a, a, a business card. Business cards should be very generic. They don't have to be fancy. Business cards should have your name, name of your web page. Remember, you're going to name your company after your web page. Your email address and your phone number. That's it. And you can have front and back. It costs more if you want that. But just get the front side done. Okay? Get your 250, 300 those cards, maybe 500. They're like 20 bucks, something like that. Vista print. There you go, man. Now you got a card. Everyone you talk to, you leave a card. You know, everywhere you go, you leave a card. Someone's going to call you. But every Saturday, do that for one month on the Saturdays. If you work 10, 12 hours a day, you don't have time in the week, do it every month on a Saturday. Guess what, man? Sunday you go to church, I know. But guess what happens when you get out of church? You got time. And, man, if you're trying to start something, time is, your, is not your friend. Don't sit at home, sit there watching, you know, the, the Sunday afternoon football game, which I'm guilty of that as well. But, you know, get out there and do the same thing you did on Saturday, okay? Uh, and get motivated about it. It's your baby. Work your baby, okay? Someone will call you. And once you get a phone call or you get someone that calls you, and they leave you a voicemail, whatever, and say, hey, I'm interested in selling my home. Before you call that guy, get a hold of somebody that knows what they're doing because you got one shot, not 30, one shot on that phone to make that appointment to go back and see that person. So you got to be able to play it right. You don't want to call the guy back and you got, you know, a kid streaming in the background and, and, and or music playing in your car and a bunch of background noise. You want to call him back in a professional setting and you want to say the right things. So you need to get a hold of somebody because that could be potentially be a several thousand dollar deal on that callback. And all you're doing on a callback is setting that appointment. Well, how much are you going to buy my house for? You know what, Mr. Jones, let me do this. I left a lot of information on a lot of people's doors. Uh, if you don't mind, Mr. Jones, give me your address. Let me do my due diligence. The word is due diligence. And I tell you what, when I show up tomorrow at, at 6 p.m., I will bring uh, an offer with me to purchase your home. There you go. You make an offer to purchase home. Well, give me a general idea. Mr. Jones, I don't want to misquote you on the phone. The next thing you know, I'm a liar. Okay, so let me do my due diligence, and, and I promise you, I'll come out there with a fair offer. You're going to get to keep some of the equity in your home. That I can guarantee you, okay? I'll be out there tomorrow at 6 p.m. Thank you very much. And as soon as you get the information, as soon as you make that appointment, get off the phone, man. Don't stay on that phone with them. Uh-uh. You can go out there tomorrow, and, and, and there's ways to find value and all that online, and we talked about that in the past. If not, get with somebody that knows and find out what it's worth, then find out what you can offer on it. You're typically looking at making an offer somewhere 70% of the value. Maybe you really want to get about 65%. But one of the things you want to explore while you're on that phone, or in, actually in person, you don't do it on the phone. When you got there in person, hey, you know, what? why are you guys selling the home for? I know you... Well, if it's a pre-foreclosure, you already know. But if it's anything else other than a pre-foreclosure, find out why there's, find out what the pain is. You know, pre-foreclosures could be tough, too, because they've been, there's been probably 20 others knocking on the door besides you. So why did they pick you? Ask them. I'm just curious, Mr. Jones. I mean, you know, you know I got your information from the pre-foreclosure list, and, and, and I know you guys are going through a tough time. I'm just curious. You probably had to have 30 phone calls from different investors. Why did you call me? Find out what he says, man. He said, well, you know, Something about when you knocked on my door the other day and I talked to you and you have that thing, you know, you, you look like you were concerned. Be genuinely concerned about people's lives, okay? Now, we're getting ready to cut out of here till tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow, man, we got a lot of good things going on. So, this has been the Woodlands Prime Lending Show. We're going to see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. WoodlandsPrimeLending.com. Talk to you then. <laughs>